What you guys in this video I'm going to be showing you how to remove malware with a free program called OTL. It's made by Oldtimer and uh, what it does is it basically scans the system and analyzes it and then creates a log file which you can then diagnose by looking at it and uh, using the actual findings of that and then putting into a fixed a custom fix thing and then running it. You'll get um, the idea of it once we start using it. So as you can see here we've got some infections on this system, it's got a system progressive protection, also taskbar's gone missing and there's some other stuff on the system as well and what we're going to do is reboot into safe mobile networking because we can't do anything here and uh, we're going to run old, old, uh, old timers OTL. So let's uh, reboot the system. Okay so we're in the advanced boot options here and I'm going to come down to safe mobile networking. Okay, so we're in safe mobile networking now. Now, before I run the tool, uh, a word of caution that this type of tool is very powerful and it can do some serious damage to the system if you're not using it correctly. So if you're a home user and you're trying to use it to remove malware, then I'd advise you to leave this well alone and use something like malware bytes and stuff like that. This is normally uh, made for uh, technicians and stuff like that to help remove uh, infections from the system. So let's have a look at the actual OTO itself. Now we're going to have a quick basic look at this video. We're not going to go too deep into it. Um, we're just going to have a quick uh, scan of it and just show you how it works and how you can use it. And it's up to you then to uh, do a bit more research on it and uh, play around with it and learn a bit about it. So we're going to put some ticks into the bottom here, lock check and also purity check and also scan all users. This is important because obviously we need to make sure we're scanning all user accounts on the system because depending on who's been using a computer on that account there'll be all different uh, viruses for the different accounts if they've been infecting themselves. So what we're going to do here is uh, leave this exactly how it is here, maybe put an actual use safe list here and uh, you can also put it on uh, none if you wish but I'm going to leave this one here and then we also need to put in a script inside here that it's going to run uh, well it's not a script, a bit of code really that it tells it to search particular areas and I've got one here and as you can see this one uh, is going to scan these areas now you can make this as long or as short as you like if you do a little research on the internet you'll find there's uh, some of these lists out there okay uh, for you or you can use this one I will put the stuff in the description there so you can copy it. So all you need to do here is put this into the actual custom scan fixes and that's going to create a restore point and it's also going to check the windsock and some other areas what we put in here SVC host and and so on. Now these are common areas what malware hits like a user in it uh, .exe and stuff like that and that's what it's going to give us a full log on. So we're going to run the scan here and let this run that will take a bit of time depending on how much uh, stuff you have on your system i.e. programs this that and everything else it's going to take a fair bit of time to scan through all that stuff and create um, a log file for you so go make yourself a cup of tea or something and come back when it's finished okay so that's the scan now finished and as you can see it's created an OTL text file which is a log file and it's also created another one called extras now it's going to be pretty difficult to look at this inside safe mobile networking and that's because we're infected and we can't get to the desktop but I mean you can always copy this to a USB stick pen and put it onto another machine to examine it from there so you can see the full uh, screen of it. Now what you need to do here is you go through uh, these log files i.e. process lists so you can see here uh, safe list and also modules services driver services and you can see it's all into little groups and you would uh, analyze this and go through all this and until you find out uh, what's on the system and then once you find stuff that is uh, an infection i.e. this program here you can see this one here 
this is an infected file and uh, what you would do here is you would copy these and make up another notepad file and put them in I'll show you that in a second um, but I'm just going to quickly go through here you can see some areas like this one here this is an infected area this one and also the one above it and so on so you'd go through these and root out uh, what's an infected file now it's no good asking me how do I know what's infected and what isn't and how can I tell it's just a case of working with uh, these types of things over the years you get an idea of what's what to look for and what not to look for and you can also upload these to uh, virus total these files to find out whether they are infected because they give you the location of where the file is so for argument's sake we would go to this location I can see a file here already and if I wanted to I could upload this this is an Adobe Flash Player it doesn't put that file in that location and uh, you could up actually upload this to virus total now, if you watch some of my previous videos it shows you how to add this to the right click context menu and you could just upload it straight away from there okay so we can see some other areas here I'm going to come down I can see these areas here these are infected files inside the roaming area this is common uh, for infections and this is another place they like to hide um, but you can go through this I'm not going to go through it thoroughly right here but another area modified within 30 days pretty common uh, for malware that you've just did, had infections in the last couple of days and you've taken it to a technician this is where he's going to be looking within the last 30 days you can see here um, this is a file this is not Adobe this is an infected file um, this is what it's done and also this is an infection here as well okay so and you can see system progressive uh, protection that's that one there so you can go through these and uh, pull these all out now I did say you need to create after you've copied these you'd copy the whole part of that like so and then you'd create your file and I'll show you what it looks like roughly just close that off I'll open this one up and there you can see we've got a rough idea of what it would look like you'd put colon OTL and this would be um, your actual area here you could put dot reg uh, colon reg or colon services and colon processes uh, there is a tutorial on these you can put these in and uh, once you've done that you can see files and we need to put in the colon commands which will reset the host file empty the temp file create a restore point and then reboot the system and this is what we're going to be doing so we're going to copy this I wish I could go through this thoroughly with you but it just takes too long so what we need to do here is then paste this into this area into the custom scan fixes now we've got that in there we've overwritten the other one and this is the fixes we're going to do so all you need to do is run fixes and uh, that should fix those issues now I've not gone through it with a fine tooth comb there might be stuff left behind sort of rushing a bit but you need to take your time with this okay run the fix it's saying the system needs to be rebooted you click OK I'm going to let this boot up to the normal desktop now I'm going to click run here and there we go so we click the run and that's now give us another file which will tell us what it's done deleted successfully as you can see it's deleted those files and uh, it will give you the full rundown of what it completed now obviously you're going to be taking much more time than what I've done but um, you need to go through this with a fine tooth comb now really uh, this is not the only program you're going to be using when you're doing this type of thing what it's for is to use in conjunction uh, with other programs i.e. Malwarebytes, Hitman Pro, 
uh, ESET online scanner you use these uh, tools in conjunction with this to help you fight against malware so don't just use this one tool think this is one tool fix all it's not it's there to help you uh, with other stuff so all you need to do now if you wanted to rem remove the rest of this which is you'll see a location here there's still loads of work to do on the system you can't just run that and uh, you'll see in a C root directory there'll be a underscore OTL and this is the actual moved files okay this is the stuff it's moved now we need to remove this from the system and you can do that by clicking on it and using the uh, cleanup area you just click on clean up and you'll see it processing and removing all that stuff and then it will delete itself from the system okay so you need to reboot again and then it's going to remove that from the system and that's now all been removed as you can see we're back up to the desktop let's just open that up so we can see this location and you should see it's now been removed and them infections have been removed as well and we have our taskbar back and also the desktop back so you'd also run other scans at this stage and uh, continually remove uh, remove all the infections from the system that's if you've not got them all already okay so I think that's about it for this basic guide on how to use OTL from Oldtimer my name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk if you enjoy these videos guys hit that subscribe button and also rate and favorite my videos if you enjoy them and I'll be making more useful videos again in the future now if you've got any tools that you want me to do a video on or any uh, video requests for anything else like software or anything like that or you're a manufacturer and you want me to do a video for you then send me an email or send me a message and I'll do my best to make those videos for you okay so keep uh, keep watching the videos and I'll be making more very soon so thanks again bye for now